Hi there, my name is Hunter and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. And today I'd like to show you a couple of ways that you can reuse your sketch data to speed up your design process. So on this exhaust manifold I need to add a sixth flange, but I can't have it on the same plane as these original five. It actually has to stick out a little more. So that takes a pattern out of the equation for me. But no worries, there's lots of other ways that I can reuse my data to speed up this process. So first I'll show you how we can copy paste sketches. So we'll find the sketch that I want to copy and either hit control C on my keyboard or go to edit and copy. And now it lives on the clipboard so if I select the plane or planar face that I want the new sketch to be drawn on, I can hit control V on my keyboard or paste. And we can go back and edit this sketch at any time. Now this sketch is not going to be parametrically related to the original. So I can add or remove or modify geometry from this sketch as I see fit. And then, just like any other sketch, I can use it for a feature with pretty much no restrictions. Now also, a sketch that you copy-paste can be copy-pasted to different parts. So if you need to reuse your data across parts, a copy-paste is a pretty good fit for that. Now a second way we can reuse our sketch data is using a derived sketch. Now a derived sketch has to be in the same part, but it has the advantage of being able to be parametrically related to the parent. So to do a derived sketch, you select the sketch you want to copy, as well as the planar face or plane you want the new sketch to be placed on. And then you go to Insert dropdown and Derive Sketch. Notice that puts me in sketch mode. Here's my derived sketch. But also notice that my sketch toolbars have been grayed out. So I actually can't modify this sketch in any way. I simply can locate it and orient it using relations strictly to objects that are outside of the sketch. And then just like a copy-pasted sketch, I can use it in any feature as I see fit. And now, with a derived sketch, if I decide at some point that I need to make a change to the parent, the derived sketch is going to update as well. So let's make a quick change to our profile here. And when we rebuild, we'll notice that now the derived sketch has followed. Now if at some point you decide that you want to break that parametric link between the derived sketch, you can right click on your derived sketch and say underive. But keep in mind that once you do that, you can never get the link back. And also, if we go in and we edit that sketch, we'll see that all of my dimensions and relations have been lost. So now I have to manually go in and redefine the sketch from scratch. So just to conclude, we've shown two different ways you can reuse your sketch data, both using copy-paste, a simple Windows Control-C and Control-V, or a derived sketch where you select the sketch and the new face or plane that you want the new sketch to live on. I hope you found this content useful, and if so, please do subscribe to our Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.